Hey everyone, hope you are doing well. This is Rishabh from Ascending Techie and first of all, thank you to everyone who has subscribed to our channel. We are now a community of more than 200 people and it means a lot to me. If you want to be an active member of our community, you can also join our Discord channel where we have multiple places where you can talk about specific topics. So let's get into the video. This video will explain to you the difference between AOSP, GSI, SGSI, ports and ROMs. There is no appropriate place where you can find the differences between these on the internet. So I decided to make a video about it and share it with you. So what is AOSP? AOSP stands for Android Open Source Project which is the purest form of Android developed by Google which does not include any drivers for the hardware such as processor and other stuff like Google Apps. You can only install it once Qualcomm releases drivers compatible with the processor for the new release. Next up, GSI stands for Generic System Image which can be installed on any devices that are Project Treble compatible which are the ones that ship with Android 8.1 or newer Android versions. You can say that it is AOSP with adjusted configurations for all Android devices. GSIs can often have issues with camera or Bluetooth etc when flashed to a specific device. If the issue is device specific then it is very unlikely that a developer would spend time to fix such issues. Project Treble was implemented in Android 8.0 where the idea was that a GSI that is a generic system image can be run on any Android device. SGSI stands for semi-generic system image which in our words means an OT update from any of the companies like Google, Samsung or even MI which a developer might be able to configure to run on other devices. Once the SGSI is configured for a specific device for example an update for Pixel 4a gets configured to run on Asus Zenfone Max Pro M1. It is called a port. Ports are not usually great for battery backup because they were built for another device in the first place and some of the features might be hardware limited. And at last we have ROMs or custom ROMs which are built for a specific device using the right drivers and optimizations. Simply put, device specific custom ROMs tend to have less bugs because the devs know exactly which device the ROM is going to be run on. When an issue occurs with a ROM, the devs will definitely try to fix that issue as soon as possible. So in conclusion, a ROM is built from AOSP with a specific device in mind. A GSI is also built from AOSP but it can be installed on any Android device which is Project Travel compatible and ports are versions of Android which are built for a specific device in the first place which get configured to run on another specific device. So I hope you learned something from this video. Don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, be kind to everyone.